At the start of the story, we witness a massive ship on fire, and a small boat sails past the same ship, in which four people were sitting and going somewhere and they also had some stuff but suddenly their boat collides with something in the water and stopped while walking. Now one of the four people looks down in the water and suddenly a very scary hand comes out of the sea which pulled that man and brought him with him and their stuff also falls into the water. Now no one knows what happened to them. In the story, we are shown an island called Antonio where a girl was sitting in the lighthouse there telling everyone that our forefathers i.e. the idols of our ancestors have been made. Because of their sacrifices, this city is settled today and is also rich. One of them was my grandfather's grandfather. Now the girl who was sitting in the lighthouse was telling everything on the radio was named Steve. Further we see the statues of those elders and this island was also running from their generations i.e. their children were settled here. In the story, we see a boy named Nick who had gone to catch fish in the sea with some of his companions and a friend. Suddenly his boat, the anchor of the boat, falls down and gets stuck in a sack and this was the same stuff that we saw in the beginning of the story with four men who had fallen in the water and had been there for many years. Now the anchor of their boat had come up but because of it, the bag opens and all the stuff came out of it. In which there was a very old comb and a watch. Nick was now going to take the clutch of his boat which was broken because of getting stuck there. On the same way, he meets a girl named Elizabeth and she was an old friend of Nick. Nick was happy to see her like this. He was meeting Elizabeth after six months. Now Nick also goes to take the clutch with him. When he goes to the shop, an old man came to Elizabeth who shows her a watch. This was the same watch that had come out of that bag and this old man had found it on the shore of the sea. When Elizabeth starts touching that watch, the old man says no, you can't touch it because doing this will change a lot but still Elizabeth takes that watch in her hand. By doing this, the watch that had been closed for many years she also sees the mark of a scale on that watch. Then Nick also comes back after finishing his work there. Seeing him, the old man had gone from there and they also go from there. After this, we are shown Steve to whom his friend had called, he also used to work in the lighthouse like this. He tells Steve that I have just seen in radar that a deep fog is coming towards our island. Hearing this, Steve was quite surprised. Then Nick was also going to his house with Elizabeth but suddenly something hits his car due to which the glass of his car broke. Seeing such a terrible accident, both get scared. Then a father came to them who says this and leaves, there will be blood for blood. Hearing this, both of them get scared. Elizabeth also comes to her mother's house. Seeing her, her mother becomes happy but later she tells her that you should have told me before coming. Hearing this, Elizabeth gets angry. She leaves her mother's house and comes out where Nick was still standing. When he looks at her like this, he realized that her mother had a fight with her that's why he came to his house with Elizabeth, they were sleeping at night. Then suddenly Elizabeth gets scared and wakes up. She had a terrible dream in which she sees herself drowning in water and some people burning here it is found that Elizabeth used to see those dreams all the time. Now she gets up and searches for the same mark on her computer that she had seen made on the watch. A mark of a scale because it was now coming in her dreams too that's why her computer suddenly stops. Drops of water start dripping from the roof above her. When Elizabeth looks up, she sees marks of wet feet and it seemed as if someone was walking upside down on the roof. She came out following those marks where there was a lot of fog. A thick fog had enveloped Elizabeth from all directions. Suddenly, Nick also comes from behind who took her inside the house again. On the other hand, we see Nick's friends who were partying with their female friends in the sea by taking his boat. There is fog all around his boat. Nick's friend contacts for help but due to too much fog and cold he was not able to contact anyone. Now all the things in his boat start exploding. When Nick's second friend goes to check the engine, he comes out and sees a big ship having few people in it. He calls his friend to show the same ship but when he came there was no one there. Then something comes and attacks his boat because of which the two girls died. After it, a knife hit Nick's friend's eye and he also dies on the spot because of it what was the thing harming everyone. A spurt, none knows the next day. Nick gets a call from his uncle and he tells him that your friend did not come home last night, he was his friend's dad. He took your boat and went to party with his friend. Hearing this, Nick now takes Elizabeth in a boat and goes to find his friend where he had found his boat in the sea but when they go inside it, the boat was in a bad condition and they discover there is something wrong. When they look at the boat, Nick finds his friend's dead body and also sees the dead bodies the girls in the net in the sea. When Elizabeth checks the boat a little more, she finds Nick's second friend who was sitting in the fridge. Actually, he was hiding here being feared of the night's incident, 
Nick's friend tells him that a deep storm had surrounded our boat from all sides, it has ended our friend and two girls. None was ready to believe him. Now Nick has found a camera from the boat, which he takes and gives it to Elizabeth and tells her to take care of it. He also says maybe we can get some information from this camera that what attacked our boat last night. Who knows if there is any record in it. Now Elizabeth was watching the recording of the camera sitting in Nick's boat house, seeing which she learns that her friend was telling the truth, the same storm had attacked and killed all of them. Now to tell all this, Elizabeth was going to Nick but her foot slips while going and she fell into the water. It seems that no one wants to tell all this to Nick, with her, the camera also falls. Elizabeth saves herself and tries to get out of the water with the help of a wall but then she got an old book from there which she now takes to a father. He was the same father whom they met before who said there will be blood for blood, Elizabeth came to father because it was written by father's father but the father refuses to tell Elizabeth about this book and tells her to go away otherwise no one will be alive. Elizabeth finds her father's words very strange so she now takes this book and goes to Nick. They read that book and discover their ancestors have settled this city while taking many innocent lives. Actually, there was an island which was considered to be a huge island for business where people were rich and wealthy but due to the spread of a disease that island destroyed and only a few people left there. They took their ship to Antonio, means the island on which they are now living left for it. The ship's leader contracts to buy the land from this island's people so that he could live here comfortably with remaining people but the people living here cheated the leader. They looted all his money and all the people on his ship were closed and set on fire and this was the same scene that we saw the ship burning at the beginning of the story. The souls of the people burning in the same ship have now returned here and want to take revenge on the people living here. Then we see Steve, the room of the lighthouse in which she was catches fire. Steve's son had brought it from the shore of the sea. Steve extinguishes the fire but the mark of the same scale formed on wall which was on the watch and comb. She calls her son and says next time you will not bring anything from the sea to the house. In the hospital, Nick was with his friend. Then Elizabeth goes to the morgue where Nick's other friends were who had died but one of them revives and holds Elizabeth from behind but when she shouts, he falls down and dies again. On the other side of the sea, the same man who had a watch sees a rope and when he pulls it towards him. It seemed as if he was pulling a smoke cloud towards him. Steve's son was also there and watching all this. That's when the smoke started coming behind him. Steve's son runs into his house and quickly his grandmother closed the door. Steve's son was at his grandmother's house there was smoke all over the island. Steve was sitting and talking to her friend that's when the lights turn off Steve's friend's laptop was on and suddenly someone knocks on her door. Steve was talking to her friend and forbids him to open the door but he opened the door and came out where a soul in the smoke burns him and kills him. Steve gets scared and immediately calls his son who was at his grandmother's house but because of the bad weather she was not getting a call that's why she comes on air and says because of the bad weather a lot has gone wrong and she also tells about her friend's death, she also says my son is in trouble, is there anyone who can help me at this time? Nick had heard his words on the radio, he quickly takes Elizabeth and left to find Steve's son. On the other hand, we see the statues of the elderly which a lot of people had come to see. At that time, the whole city's light had also gone. Steve also goes out to find her son but suddenly her car was closed on the way. There was a lot of smoke there and it had surrounded Steve's car from all sides. That's why a truck hits her car from the front because no one could see anything because of the smoke. Her car had fallen into the water while turning. Steve tries to get out of the water but there was a soul in the water who holds her leg and pulls her towards itself but somehow she got out of the water. On the other hand, Steve's mother who was at home, a soul had also burned her mother. When her son looks at his grandmother like this, he locked himself in the room but the soul in the smoke come to his room and was about to kill Steve's son but then Nick arrives who had saved Steve's son. They put him in the car and leave from there but he also has an accident because of not seeing anything. They also walk ahead, Steve had also reached them. They all go together to Antonio Hall where Elizabeth's mother and the rest of the people were. They all close the doors together and then a dead body falls inside which was of Nick's friend's father. After which the soul in the smoke had also come inside who had killed Elizabeth's mother first because she was the daughter of one of the men who had done wrong with that leader. Then the soul kills the father. Actually, it was the same leader's soul with whom the people here had betrayed. That soul comes to the graveyard with the mayor of the city and gives the mayor a contract paper. These were the same documents that the leader had given them before. After it, the leader's soul also burns and kills him. All this was seen by Nick and Elizabeth standing there quietly. 
After which Elizabeth goes to that leader and Elizabeth also turned into a soul when the soul holds her hand. Here we come to know that actually Elizabeth was the second birth of the leader's wife and that's why she had such dreams that she saw the ship burning, the marks of the scales along with the watch that started working as soon as she got it. Nick was also watching all this and as he sees it, everything disappears. After this, we are shown the scene of the next day where Steve was talking on the radio with her son telling everyone about what happened yesterday and no one knows why all this happened, but yes, everyone was killed because of their mistakes and everything comes back to take its revenge. That means the danger was not over yet. Nick also throws that book into the sea which Elizabeth found in the same attempt that maybe now this death fog will not come to their city again. With this, the story of the dangerous fog ends here.